Time now for Greg Cody's Back in My Day. And now it is time to take a trip down memory lane. Here's your guy, Greg Cody, with Back in My Day. Pocket change. Where did it go? One minute there's a palm full of it heavy in my hand. The next minute I'm grasping at air. Ah, the disappearing coin. Farewell, penny. Au revoir, nickel. Adieu, dime. Bon voyage, quarter. You were one of life's jangly, beloved accoutrements for generations. Always there, steady, familiar, reassuring. Now, you are all but extinct. It's all they talk about when Lincoln, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Washington get together in heaven and whip out a deck of cards for a spirited weekly game of clabberjass how the hand-held portion of their legacy has been stripped from them. <laughs> nobody carries change anymore because nobody pays with cash anymore in order to get change. <laughs> Nowadays, people pay with credit or debit or flash a smartphone app to buy a damn pack of gum. Uh -huh. It has become an oxymoron. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing current about currency. You pull paper money from your wallet at a store nowadays and they look at you funny like they would if you were using a quill feather pen, wearing a Jack Benny t-shirt, or carrying around a sundial in case you were asked the time. I used to love everything about pocket change. The feel of it, the smell of it. Coins were the original fidget spinner toy. If you were nervous or just killing time, you'd mindlessly dig into your right pocket and rummage through the copper and nickel and zinc. Fingers expertly distinguishing the penny from the elegantly slim dime, the sturdy nickel, and the king of the pocket, the regal quarter. I collected <laughs> coins as a kid, pads of my fingers reading the topography of each as the blind read braille, eyeing the date of mintage and transporting my mind back to that time and imagining my fingers were the first to caress the virgin coin. It was the brotherhood of man, coins passing from one hand to the next across time. Am I the one millionth to hold this 1972 wheat penny, I'd wonder? Have any loved this 68 Monticello nickel more than I? <laughs> People, will you join me in bringing back yeah. coins and pocket <laughs> change as yeah. a vital part of Americana? I'm with you. Yes. Pay for everything in cash, and then pray the total is something 01 so you hit the lottery <laughs> with that 99 cents in change. Yeah. Make it your business to walk around all day like me with a heavy load <laughs> in your pants. I'm Greg Cody, and that's how it was back in my day. Yeah. <laughs> That was extraordinary. <laughs> ah, all hail the heavy load in Greg Cody's <laughs> pants. A, uh, a tweeter writes in, I don't know how anyone listens to the Dan Lebitard show. It's painful, long periods of over-exaggerated laughter, not much talking sports, not knowing when they've beaten a joke to death. Golick and Wingo is far better. Clabberjask? What was that word that Cody used? It's a card game. We all had to research what clabberjass was. Had no idea. When did it end? When did clabberjack? Well, it's a card game. Cards are still around. No, but are people still playing no, it? it or is a... clabberjack? Uh, there can be games that with cards that are extinct. Yeah, no, it was a 19th century card game that uh, the the uh, coin people played. Like I mentioned in my back of my day. 